you know, going into the season, obviously the biggest thing I'm hearing about on offensively is how you're going to replace Luke Uh And the thing I'm excited most about, and I think our coaches and our players are excited most about, is we feel we have a lot of guys that we can put into a game and either throw, throw them the football, hand them the football, let them make plays. Uh, we think we've got a, a bunch of skilled players that can, that can contribute for us, and that starts with our, our two captains, Matt Sullivan and Ben Rogers. Uh, and none of those skilled guys can do anything without the offensive line, uh, which we feel, you know, we got some older kids uh, returning and some young guys that are, that are pushing them, you know, with the theme of competition that has started, you know, since, you know, last offseason. Uh, it's really been great for our offense to see, you know, each day who's going to step up and practice and who's going to produce and who's going to uh, rise to the occasion. So, you know, I think it's, uh, I think it's been a, a really good camp and I'm excited to see what we can do. And then with special teams, you know, a guy that has been a tremendous performer for us. Uh, he's three-time first-team All-Ivy League, uh, heading into his senior year, NFL prospect, is Chris Frazier. Uh, and a guy that just comes to work every day. Uh, no punt is more important than the next one. Uh, he has a tremendous attitude, tremendous work ethic. Uh, truly one of, the, one of the, the great players in the league this year. Uh, and somebody to, to really come and watch. When he, when he gets a hold of the ball and punts it, it's, it's, it's really fun. So I would encourage people to come see him. Yeah, talking defensively, you know, similar to uh, like we talked about the theme of, of competing, where where guys are, are challenged each day in practice and each lift to, to bring their best. With the number of players that we have, uh, it's just been it's been a tremendous opportunity for for them to to compete and earn those starting spots. And what the result has been is everybody's gotten better, and we're seeing uh, that we have more guys that we feel are game ready, varsity game ready, than we've ever had before. And when, it's, when we talk about defensively, it starts with our captains. Uh, and unfortunately, the, the biggest negative of our training camp this year was losing Miles Norris. You know, Miles has been a guy that's played since he was a freshman. He's serving as a two-time captain, uh, really heart and soul, great vocal leader. Uh, and hopefully we'll get him back for a, a fifth year. But that, that, that was a, a negative uh, for sure. But he'll still be with us in spirit to help lead that defense. On the field, the defensive captain leader is going to be Jackson Weber. You know, and that's a guy that's played for four years. He's played inside linebacker, outside linebacker. He can line everybody up. He knows all our calls, uh, you know, holds his teammates accountable, uh, understands the other team's offense, and really kind of is the, is the point guy for our defense.